everybody and welcome to today's video which is going to be a foundation stage video on properties of quadrilaterals. Now one of the things that has changed in the um, in the revised curriculum is that there's a lot more problem solving. Um, used to be the case that they'd give you a question and pretty much all you had to do was share a fact um, but things have changed quite a bit now okay and they get you to think about things a lot more. So let's have a look at um, the question for today. Um, here it is. It says, the diagram shows a quadrilateral ABCD. Is AB parallel to DC? You must give your, um, you must give your reasoning, okay? So this is one that needs working out. So essentially, what it's doing is it's asking whether this line and this line are parallel. Now, there are quite a few things that aren't given in this question. Um, it'd be nice to know this angle. It'd be nice to know this angle. But we're not given any of that, okay? So because we're not given them, you need to think carefully about what we have been given and what you already know, okay? So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this diagram out. And I'm going to draw it out a little bit differently, okay? Um, I'm going to draw what I know about parallel lines, okay? So there are some parallel lines. And if they're joined by a line like so, then I know various things about these, okay? I know that um, for... Let's carry these lines on, actually. That, sorry, that wasn't very helpful. So I know that this line, if this is angle A then this angle here is also A. I also know that this angle is A, and I know that this angle is A. This angle will be B, this angle will be B, this angle will be B, and this angle will be B. Now, if that's the case with parallel lines, what I also know is that A add B equals 180 degrees okay a and b always equals 180 degrees and they're the skills that it's asking us to look at okay um they're called co-interior angles so is a b parallel to dc well the calculation that i need to do is 120 add 57 120 add 57 is 771 that does not equal 180. Because it does not equal 180, it is not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down, uh, no, because co-interior angles must add to 180 degrees but these angles add to 177 degrees okay it's important that you put that level of detail in the key words we're looking for are co-interior um, and and it's important, even though the question doesn't explicitly ask for it, it's always worth stating that it should be 180, but in this situation it's 177. So that, therefore, is the proof that it is not so. Okay? Um, so that's our question for today. Like I say, it's a foundation question, um, but it's also one that um, our Key Stage 3 learners um, will find useful things that you're doing in key stage three as well okay so there we go so that's the question um i hope you found that useful i hope you found it helpful as always any questions any concerns leave a comment or if you're watching this from school come and find me around school and we'll sort it out um hope you found this useful um if you have thumbs up a like if not then please do give it a thumbs down please do comment that you've not found it useful, okay? It's important that I know that these videos are, are helping you. If they're not, I need to know, all right? 
Listen, guys, thank you ever so much uh, for your time, and I will see you soon with the next video. All right? Thank you, guys. Bye for now.